So welcome back guys to some more Fallout 4 episode number 4. We're back in the Commonwealth and we're about to go to Diamond City. So Diamond City is quite is quite far. It's, it's actually very, very far. Um, it's just there. But what we can do is fast travel to the... Over here, the assembly plant. So that will, that will speed up stuff a lot, which is definitely good. Also, we leveled up in the last episode. Forgot to do that, so let's do that right now. I want to go with this baby. Uh, this is the Rifleman. So anything that's non-automatic will get an extra 20% damage. I think that sounds pretty good to me. Boom, done it. Look at that, it's like a little cowboy. Right, so let's now... Uh, actually, could do any more weapon mods out yeah. of interest? Make our weapons even better. That, that would be quite cool. Um, I quite like this thing, actually. So if we can modify that in any way, make it even better. Nope, seems like we don't have much stuff left. Okay, fair enough, right. We'll leave that then. Exit. Now let's fast travel to the assembly of plants. Let's do it. So if you guys want to see like a certain perk or a certain environment or a certain area, just let me know in the comment section below or a certain mission actually. If you want to see like go in like a particular area, let me know. So Diamond City, I believe. Um, why is it saying that way for? That can't be right. Oh, it's that way. Okay, so it's that direction. That way. Okay. Right, so let's get my most aggressive weapon out can we get out there we go and let's do it let's go let's walk as quick as we can it's raining this game now has like smog fog rain sun oh everything basically oh man, this, looks, this looks spooky doesn't it this looks fairly spooky <laughs> i don't like this at all i get so nervous in this game i say every episode i just shit myself I don't like scary games, but I find this one of the most scariest games ever, I think. I just... Dog meat? That's, that's polluted water. It's radiated. Don't do that. Oh, what's this? It's knocked into something else. Fire support. So some, like, frequency. So quick they'll listen. Radio. Apparently it's this thing. Can we turn it on? Automated message repeating. Oh, we got to listen to... Oh, I thought we could listen to it while we're walking. Oh, we can. Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization arcs, Pharaoh, 9-5. Our unit has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Cambridge? Is it the UK? What's that about? No, I'm joking. Automated message repeating. Well, this is going to keep repeating. So we now have a new mission available. There's a lot of stuff to do already, and we've only literally just started the game. It's crazy. Absolutely bonkers. Any loot around here? Oh, actually. Fusion cells. That's what I need, actually. Ammo. Perfect. Oh, yes. What's this guy? That looks like an old guy. He's been there for some time. Good dog me. Can you stop doing that sound? He does that sound when he's a little bit scared. And he sees something that scares him. So I'm trying to just ignore it. Because <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to know about it. Where exactly are we on the map? Man, we've got a while to go, haven't we? Oh, sweet. Okay, right, there's a bridge, apparently this direction. Apparently. Man, this is crazy. So there's a bridge here. What's that? What's that Bean Town Bury? So it's like a little, uh, where beer has been made. It used to be made, anyway. So we keep going along this bit of coast, or this river, wherever it is. I'm going to go across to the next bridge. Um, can't see any enemies, which is good. And surprising. Some boats. So, so much icons are on the map, though. There's so much icons around. I don't, I'm surprised I haven't been attacked yet. Just put it out there. Right, so where's this next bridge? Keep looking at my map. I don't want to get lost. That's what I'm worried about. So I get to Diamond City in one piece. Am I asking too much? Probably. Right, so we're going along this road. It could be raiders. It could be super mutants here. I don't know. It could be anything. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Hello. Are you friendly? I will attack if I have to. Are you friendly? He's red, which is normally a bad sign. I think he's good. Protectatron. Can we sell stuff to you? Hello, can you speak? A fly has been added. 
So he's like trying to sell stuff. Okay, well he's like a fly. He's like I'm promoting. I, was, I feel good about myself. I was about to start firing, but I was like, he could be friendly. He could definitely be friendly. Wow. I can't believe how good this game looks. If this, it's got a completely different vibe though to like Fallout, Fallout 3. If everyone says this looks like Fallout 3, like, I mean, what are you on? Looks nothing like it. At all. Right, so there's the bridge one across. We're getting quite close to Diamond City. Getting very close. We're making progress. We're making good progress. No mutants though. We good? We good. Ooh. Oh man. Yeah, but anyway guys, just keep the likes and support coming. I'll keep these uh, episodes coming. Thick and fast. I had the game um, pretty early. I've, I've had it since Tuesday, the week before it came out. So I've been doing a lot of content beforehand. But feel free to like, leave comments and suggest stuff. And I'll, like I said, I will try and cover it in my videos. You'll see like the map and that sort of stuff. That bridge has been wrecked. But this bridge is fine, so that's good. Now, apparently Dumb City is directly in front of us. It's like, I think it's an old baseball stadium. Don't know much about baseball. Don't know about much about Boston. I can now hear some gunshots. Quick at the map again. Uh, press caps locks back. It's literally we were really close now, actually. Yeah, I think it's like see a little a little sign there. It's gonna have to go up. What the hell? That is a lot of bullets. Where the hell is that coming from? Well, who's, who's the good guys? I think these guys are good. Yeah, that's mutants. Oh my god, it's mutants! Oh sweet Jesus! What? No, don't do that. Aim at this head. Aim at the head. Aim. Did I get him. The mutant hound. What the hell's? I've got here. Oh, little super mutants. I love it. Come on. We got back to cover. The cheeky devil. And actually pretty strong. That's impressively strong. I'm trying to get my new gun out because I don't want to waste too much ammo. Yeah, shot. Fun. Empowering bullets. Just take the bullets. This is definitely still some alive. Some of my XP for this. Man. Is it me or Superman's like a lot stronger? Right, still one more alive. It's definitely sank alive in here. Yeah, these are Diamond City security guards. Where's this super mutant? There he is. He's stuck. Come on, mate. He's big. Wow. That headshot for the win. Man, he takes so many hits. Are they stronger now? Yeah, I pissed him off, pissed him off, pissed him off. Oh, dog meat. You distracted him. Nice. That's why I love you. Right, bowl caps. Let me that gun as well. What is this? Oh, that is gross. What have you done? Oh, the meat bags are back. <laughs> I hate the meat bags. They were so gross. They're even more like vivid and more accurate to what they might actually be like, which is even more scary. Right. I'm also going to loot some stuff while I'm here. Hello. Uh, yeah, that suits me. I still want to nick the gun, actually. I don't, I don't really want to bald, but I'll take it, I guess. It might be good wood. Who knows? Is that, what's that? A punching bald? What does that mean? I think that's all the loot. It took a bit of damage there. I thought this gun was pretty good, but against the Super Mutants, apparently it's really, 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 really bad. Apparently. Surprised. Right, what's this over here? Whoa! No! That sound! Where is he? Dog meat! Dog meat? Is he still alive? Where is he? Dog meat? Oh, thank God. Oh, I thought he died. I see that mine on the floor. It's not ready for that at all. Did you guys see it? Be honest. Some old money. We can use that as paper. Not paper, we can use that as um, cloth, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Right, let's set up here then. Actually, let's talk to one of these security guards. Hello. Excuse me. Excuse Damn. me. Not afraid of mutants, huh? Nope. You're our kind of guy. Okay. 
<laughs> Cheers for that. He actually looks like um, a guy from like baseball. That's quite funny. That guy from you know that guy from behind that sort of takes the balls. <laughs> I don't know. That's my baseball knowledge. Is that tight working? Looks quite well guarded. Not too bad. We're almost at Diamond City though. Yes. So good. Hey, can I kind of come in here? What is this guy? Oh. Hey there. Hey. Better buy my big guns now because you bet your ass your enemies will. Sorry. Okay, we got for sale. I'm up for that. I'm up for selling stuff. They can chamber cock and spit out lead, then I sell it. I sell slashers and clobberers too for those maniacs that like it up close. But hot death flying faster than the speed of sound. Oh, my knees are getting weak just from thinking about it. Okay. Can we I'll take a look. Sure. A part of every bid purchase goes to planting little bitty trees that I'll blow up. <sighs> just show me your stuff. Jesus, I was going to say. I'll give up in a minute. I was just going to walk off. Right. She's actually got quite a bit. She's actually got quite a bit. <laughs> That's quite cool. You can like, look around it. Ooh. Look how pretty that is. <laughs> uh, I don't want else to buy, guys. I am being very, very tight with my money. I'm going to try and sell some stuff. But again, I don't want to sell too much. So I'm like, what do I want to do? I might try and buy a little bit of ammo for my, what's it, the, the musket. Oh, I do like that gun. Buy a little bit of ammo for that. Uh, right, I think that's good. Accept it. Done. So I just sold a few little bits. Nothing really to shout home about. You alright? She's, she's, she was quite scary, I'm going to be honest. Yay, I guess some of you guys might, might know who that guy is. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's see if we can try and enter. Oh, I recognise you from the trailers. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's busy. You want into Diamond City, right? Yes, yeah, correct. Um, I went in. I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. Okay. What, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy. You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month. <laughs> You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Well, that works out quite well. Thank you, Piper. Head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Diamond City. Let's go. Sounds good. Let's go. Great day in Diamond City. Should we put our guns down? Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. That's the mayor. Hi, the mayor. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Uh, well, this is a bit awkward. We haven't really read the newspaper yet, so I don't know if I like it or not. So what, what newspaper? What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? I, I don't... Um... Not my business. I, I won't get involved. This really isn't any of my business. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Thank you. Welcome to Is the great compliment? green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? All right. Thanks for the, uh, the little speech there. Uh, sounds great. Yeah, why not? Uh, actually, should you ask why they're arguing? Like, what's why are you? What are you two arguing about? about? Anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy. But if you print the truth, <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Yeah, there was actually a missing person. I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? Uh, my son. My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? 
Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Who can help? Can we... Yeah, that's like a sort of orange. So it's not 100%. It's not red, though. So we've got a, we've got a chance. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, I'm sorry. I don't have oh, time damn it. for any more questions. I'm <laughs> a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates me? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Ooh, is that flirting? I'm pretty sure that's flirting. Just saying. Story of the century. That's a statement. Okay, so I think we're officially in Diamond City right now. Head on inside. Can I come in here? Probably not. <laughs> Probably get shot. Right, so we head inside, into the baseball stadium. And we load. Okay, fair enough. I would expect that. <laughs> I was surprised. Uh, I did hear the console version does have a lot of loading. More than this. So this is loading typically. We'll see how quick it is. I don't know. Now, maybe? It's, it is a fairly long. It's not short, but I don't, that doesn't really bother me too much. I mean, look at the, look at it. Look, it's got a load of that. That's a pretty sizable amount. Just saying. Hi, mate. Um, you seen Sean? Show. What do you mean by that? Well, folks are already plenty scared of the Institute, but that doesn't stop the paper from talking about them every chance they get. Anyway, don't let it get to you. Life here is still a hell of a lot safer than out there in the Commonwealth. Fair enough. Uh, what's the Institute? What's the Institute? Ever heard of the Boogeyman? Shadowy monster that takes people in the night? Well, that's the Institute. But they're just a fact of life around here. Someone gets taken by the Institute or gets killed by a raider. Which is worse. At least inside these walls, you don't have to worry about the raider. So what brings you to the great green jewel? Uh, a missing person, actually. Looking for someone who's gone missing. Gone missing? Who is it? Friend? Relative? Uh, my son. My son was kidnapped. His name is Sean. Your boy's gone missing? That's terrible. I'm afraid missing people don't get found in Diamond City. God seems to have turned a blind eye to them. And with all the fear of the Institute in people's hearts, they've turned a blind eye as well. <sighs> okay. Um. Could you ask for help? I'm lost, Pastor. I need help. Please. Well, yes. I don't want to get your hopes up, but there is someone who might be able to help. Nick Valentine. He's a detective. Saved a lot of lives over the years, but so many more stay missing. And trouble has a habit of sticking to him. That's been extremely useful. Thank you, mate. What an awesome guy. Awesome guy. I like him already. Nick Valentine, huh? What's his story? You know the story of the Good Samaritan? Helps a man, even though he has no reason to? Well, I suppose you could say that Nick Valentine is living that parable out. Oh, I like him then. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. Thanks. I'll go talk to him. Take care of yourself now. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. And you start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? 
Okay. Man, there's like so much. Look at this. Diamond City Market. He's trying to sell some new. Is that a haircut? Can we get a haircut? Oh, she's a bit high, isn't she? Okay, let's get up here. <laughs> oh, there's so much stuff to do! Oh, that, there's not a lot of nice food. Hello. Um, yes, why not? So, oh, we can buy noodles. <laughs> Great. Oh, man, that's a lot. Why do they cost so much? You got made of money. Uh, no, I'm good, thanks. Tab out. I'm done. Uh, I'm off. Sorry, I don't... <gasps> one, one second. No! That's quantum! Why can't I... No, I can't even... I have to steal it. Which I probably mean get shot. Very, very quickly. Damn it. So I can put my armor there if I want to. My power armor. Very nice. This does feel quite safe, though. I must say. Percy. Hello, Percy. I wonder why. Because <laughs> he's a robot. You sell what? What do you sell here? Oh, everything, sir. Miss Burner prizes herself on being a collector of quality odds and ends from all over the Commonwealth. We also buy any unwanted items you may be carrying on your person. And we're open 24 hours a day. Well, thank you, per Percy. Percy, Percy. So we can look at all our stuff. We've got ammos. It feels good just like to see. What's that? A cracked bowl. Apparently we need that for some reason. I don't know what it counts towards. Right, done. I don't really buy much too much to be honest. Uh, accept. Confirm the trade. Thank you very much. Oh, this looks interesting. That looks like a lot of weapons. Yes, that's what I like. That's what I like. A lot. So apparently there's a. I'm not sure what we're doing exactly at this moment. I'm not sure what the quest is, but... Hey, there's a bar in the old theater district that parades... Ah, detective. Aha. Uh -huh. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight... Ah, there he is. There's the detective. Let's go and quickly talk to him, I guess. What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale. Valentine? So probably this guy's a good guy. So that's good to know. Ah, oh, it's a female. Oh, no, that's not... Where is she? Is this, like... Oh, she's a secretary or something? Something wrong. Another stray coming in from the rain. Rage you're too late. Office is closed. It's important. Uh, I mean, again, this is going to be like a semi chance. We might not get it, but I'll well try. You must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get oh. it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. Damn it. Okay, so go try and find him. Offer to help. Don't worry, I can help. Tell me what happened. Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Man, this guy sounds very, very brave. We could ask for some money, or we could not. Uh, I feel like I need, to get, I need to improve my charisma a little bit. Because there's a lot of different options popping up a lot. Should I ask for money? I could, I could do with money. So I guess hey, I'll I'd ask. love to help, but there's a small matter of expenses. Don't play games Shit. with me. I'll pay you if you find Nick, but it's going to be 100 caps. That's the reward, and it's not up for negotiation. 100 caps? That sounds like nothing. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll find we'll do it. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat get up. Please hurry. Fair enough. Oh, leveled up. <laughs> yes. Sweet. There's always that big thing like, what 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 do I actually Oh what's this? Unlucky Valentine. He does sound like a detective as well. I'm not sure, not sure if that's like a fake name or something, but interesting, right. Did, did, you, did you mention an old vault? Like, oh, okay. I like that. Right, so what quest are we doing at the moment? Let's go and see Piper's. Let's go to Piper's office just to see what's uh, what's going on. Apparently, that's down here. 
Yeah, it's just down here. I like it clearly makes it... Look, that's the right door. Go in that door. I like that. That's cool. Damn. Let's go and see what's going on. What is, what's the story of the century? I'm interested. Oh, there she is. Hello. Glad you dropped by. Blue? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Hold up. Look, I'm just going to say it. You're a vault dweller. A jumpsuit's a dead giveaway. Oh. So here's the deal. <laughs> Oops. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Um... What's involved? What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? Yep, do it. Do the interview. Right, Why not? I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Uh, we were frozen, actually. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge the whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Uh, yes. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? <laughs> it's a bit different. If I'm destroying things, don't say that. It sucks. You're all living in rusty shacks. <laughs> oh my god, the smell. Okay. Well, that's going to be a fun one to quote. Now, I already know you're looking for yourself. <laughs> Oops. Sean, do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? Uh, I, I, I don't. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? People ignore kidnapping. I get revenge, <laughs> maybe. Um, don't lose hope. One day at a time. I'd say you probably don't lose hope. No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Well, what's up, you guys? Enjoyed this episode. We now have four different companions. Cosworth, Preston, Dogmeat, and also Piper. That's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Give us a big thumbs up. Check me out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. This is Diamond City, and bye-bye.